Well, what is going on guys? Luke here today and with all the news on Tesla and the opening of Giga Berlin and Giga Texas opening as well, is it time to update my Tesla price target? I mean, after all the announcements at those events and everything coming, did we all underestimate Tesla once again and I need to change my price target up? Or are we in for a major disappointment and it actually needs to be lowered? So I will answer that question today and I just asked in exchange for you to gently tap that like button and consider subscribing too. It's super easy to do if you like the truth without the hype. So here are some of the biggest mistakes investors are making right now today, especially with Tesla stock. Number one, you are making investing decisions because of emotions. If you have that sinking feeling when you see red day after red day and Tesla goes from 1200 down to 700, or you feel FOMO when it runs up from that $700 back over $1,000 in like a week, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Number two, you still have not done a full valuation on Tesla stock, which leads me to mistake number three. You are basically jumping from video to video on YouTube, hoping someone will give you the right answer to it if you should buy, wait, or even sell, and at what price targets. This is a recipe for destruction in your Tesla stock. But there is a solution to avoid that destruction, and it's for everyone. I mean, new investors, old investors, people with $1,000 accounts, and seven-figure accounts as well, as all those groups are represented in the over 1,000 members who are part of the Market Insiders private group, which is the ultimate wealth-building community full of people like you changing their financial futures, and the sale ends tomorrow to lock in your discount. We have over 100 different tutorials and lessons for you to take to avoid these mistakes, learn how to plan, and do evaluation, and it's also where we have lessons on mastering your money, building up passive income, and retiring early and becoming financially independent, and we even have a real estate course in development. And you're not only helping yourself and your family build a better future, you are also helping others in need as half of everything right off the top goes to charity. So don't make those mistakes. Make yourself a better investor today using the link in the pinned comment for all the details and lock in your discount now. All right, so let's talk about Tesla's price target as there has been a lot of positive developments around Tesla and it has us all excited. But there is also some hidden danger I know I have to discuss too. You guys know I don't sugarcoat stuff. You're gonna get the truth here. So we had the opening of both Giga Berlin and Giga Texas and they are incredible facilities. I mean, every time they open a new factory, they just seem to be getting better and better and better. Three main pieces of a car is just ridiculous and impossible just a few years ago, but now here we are, Tesla's doing it. It honestly is amazing how much they are changing manufacturing at such a rapid pace and a world where those changes took decades to accomplish in the past. But Tesla does it in like a few years and the pace continues to get faster and faster. It's simply amazing at this stage and let's be honest, it probably has something to do with Elon's dancing. I mean, I'm just saying, look at that, it's incredible. So both factories are going to be producing, meaning that deliveries will also increase as well. And I completely agree there. The real question is by how much? Now I've seen estimates all over the place. I mean, some being just ridiculous, you know, very Tesla bull-esque, and some were actually ridiculous the other way, like those factories are fake altogether, or they're going to hardly produce any vehicles or some other garbage like that. And seriously, how do those people that are so negative still have money flow to them is just completely beyond me. I have no idea, guys. Anyways, don't fall for either narrative. I think they will ramp better than Shanghai, but that is about as far as I'm willing to go with all that. They aren't ramping to full capacity in two weeks. I'm sorry, it's just not happening. Now, of course, I hope it happens sooner and faster than what most people are predicting, but the bank your price target on it to me is just not really prudent. And if I'm being completely honest, there are still a lot of headwinds for deliveries. Basically, look at the illness still impacting China. I mean, what? We went from a few days of lockdowns and it's turning into a few weeks, and who knows what will happen from there over the course of the entire rest of the year. You cannot have your best producing facility shut down for weeks at a time and expect a huge jump in delivery numbers. Now, I agree completely, slow down, don't blast me. If anyone can do it, Tesla can. But again, this is an unknown and we have no idea how many more times the lockdowns will happen as the year progresses. Now the standup of the two factories is used for Tesla in the coming years to mitigate that risk altogether. But for this year, they may not be able to offset the missed weeks like they will in the following years when both of the new factories are operating at 100%. Now again, it's all completely astounding, but not something that will add a thousand dollars to the share price this year like I've heard out there. Now don't get me wrong, I would completely love for that to happen by the end of the year, but I don't think $1,000 is the right amount to add to your year-end price target. Yes, obviously I think it'll be more than $1,000, but I'm talking about adding an additional $1,000 to what my end of 22 price target already was. 
But hold on, there was even more announced that has created a ton more bullish news, especially in the Tesla YouTube community. First would be the dedicated robo taxi is coming. I mean, we all knew they've hinted at it coming. We've been hearing about it for a long time, but uh, having it officially announced by Elon makes it a reality and means that resources will now move towards it at a much more rapid pace and at a much more rapid scale. ARK Invest has this as a $327 billion revenue generator by 2025 and over 1 trillion by 2030. And those numbers are just astounding once again. And the fact that we now have clarity on what is coming, I'm sure there will be updates to those projections. But there is one problem with this in regards to this, and I kind of said this twice, I'm sorry, but there's one problem with this and how it relates to the stock price this year. How much of that revenue that's gonna be generated will come in this year? I mean, I think we can all agree it's zero this year. So how much do you think investors are willing to pay right now for that future revenue that may be coming in the future? And my guess is not much, if any. And the other big question we need to ask is will RoboTaxi get caught up in the usual regulatory BS that all great innovations get caught up in, especially here in this country in our current political environment? And just as important, Will the US government allow Tesla to continue to run away leaving legacy auto and the oil industry in the dust? And do you think even if the US government doesn't care about legacy auto or the oil industry, they do, but let's just pretend like they don't, do you think the US government can get out of its own way to get this all fast-tracked? No matter how you slice this up, I believe it's further off than 2025 for mass adoption and scale and approval, regulatory approval across the entire US for the robo taxi to actually impact the bottom line of the company due to all those factors. So although I'm excited, I don't think the revenue is coming anytime soon. And most investors honestly know this and they're not going to be willing to pay for it right now. But yes, of course with Tesla, there is more good stuff. The Optimus robot also got everyone excited, but even the Tesla commenters were quick to point out that Wall Street and basically everyone just won't get it all together. That I 100% agree with, but it also illustrates the point that if nobody gets it whatsoever, that also means virtually nobody or nobody is going to pay for it either in terms of the stock price. I mean, if you don't get it, how the heck are you gonna pay a higher price for Tesla based on it? You're just not going to do that if you don't get it. And then we had Elon laying out the one year timeline that he does so often, and then it doesn't happen once again, which creates kind of more consternation among the Wall Street folks. I personally don't care and I love Elon, but FSD and other things have been coming next year for several years now, honestly. And this stuff gets the eye roll on Wall Street and unfortunately has others not jumping in Tesla like they would if he had never said anything at all. But I use this to my advantage. I like the fact that it gives me more and more time to add shares on the cheap, but it also will delay the inevitable next big run that will come because of the dislike and distrust on Elon's timelines. And it just kind of is another, you know, thing that everybody can, you know, kind of point to as, hey, I don't like that guy and then not invest. I love that he absolutely goes for the moon with his targets. I just kind of wish he would kind of make those internal instead of something like this. And especially on earnings calls where that is not the place to be overly aggressive with your targets. I mean, if Elon said Tesla bot being here by 2025 would be earth shattering enough all by itself, and if he drives hard internally for next year and misses that target, but still hits that target in 2024, it would still be amazing and he delivered early. You know, kind of that whole under promise over deliver thing. So with all the big news, openings and breakthroughs that are now being put to work, what should I adjust my 2022 price target to given all this? I mean, I'm super pumped up and I am even more bullish than ever on Tesla. I mean, seriously, it's hard not to buy every day, especially when it gets beat down a little bit. But given everything we just discussed, with the exception of the factory's opening, they're all kind of years into the future and do not generate revenue now. And the factories now that are going to be producing are somewhat muted by the shutdown of the largest producing factory for weeks, with no real clarity on when China will loosen the zero illness policy. And throw in the coming recession, which I cover in this video right up here. You know, make sure you watch that if you haven't already, so you're not just taken aback by this all this recession talk. But with that staring us in the face, along with inflation and everything else, I do not see Wall Street pushing Tesla to a point where I need to change my target from $1,355 by the end of the year. But, oh, slow down. I will say I am more bullish on future years where the stock will run up huge. And don't know how to get a price target or analyze Tesla stock and you want a step-by-step -step process to do that and much more? Well, don't forget to get your discounted membership price using the link in the pinned comment to join the group. 
And if you don't know what other stocks to consider buying, click this video right here for nine stocks I've been buying like crazy, or click this video here for even more stocks I've been buying lately. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.